The teenager accused of planning to bomb his school to kill as many students as possible and his parents took an unexpected plea deal today. Uh, John Ledoux pleaded guilty to one count of possessing an explosive device. A judge dismissed the most serious charges against him last year. Police arrested him in April of 2014 when he was 17. They found him in a storage unit with bomb-making materials. WCCO's Jennifer Merrily report, reports on where Ledoux will serve his time. John Ledoux admits during an interview with investigators he considers himself mentally ill, something he had been trying to hide. And now he will go from jail to a long-term secured autism spectrum disorder facility, a recommendation from psychologists. I think John is relieved. Um, I'm, um, I'm happy that he's going to be able to move on and that we are able to um, reach a reasonable resolution with the prosecutor finally. Ledoux was accused of planning a massacre at Wasika High School. He talked about it with police. My plans were to enter and throw Molotov cocktails and pipe bombs and destroy everyone. And when the SWAT comes, I would destroy myself. The now 18-year-old was arrested in April of 2014 after he was spotted acting suspicious outside a self-storage facility. Inside, police found guns and bomb-making equipment. They later located video of Ledoux setting off explosives. The Wasika County Attorney's Office said they have always taken the actions and intentions of Ledoux seriously. When the attempted murder charges were dropped last year, Brenda Miller says the possibility of a long prison sentence was gone. Quote, it is our belief that this plea offer is the best outcome possible under the circumstances to ensure public safety. Ledoux will be on probation and will transition to a halfway house after the treatment facility. John's very unique in the sense of it, how unviolent he is. Uh, most people I've known in my life that have been on probation, five years probation, is more like a 10, 12 year sentence because they do violate or people they know violate. But uh, I think uniquely John won't be that person. There is no determined length of time Ledoux will spend in that long-term facility before going into a halfway house. He'll be on probation for at least five years, but not more than 10. A judge will make that decision next month. Until then, Ledoux will be in the Wasika County Jail. Frank. Turn of events today, Jen. Mm -hmm. Thank you.